السلام عليكم طلبتنا الأعزاء أول lecture of today is about the liver disease in a pregnancy and generally about jaundice in a pregnant woman. The objective of this study is uh, of this lecture is to understand the different diseases that affect the liver in a pregnant woman and how to manage a pregnant woman with liver disease and how to reduce the vertical transmission of viral hepatitis. Before going to uh, talk about the uh, diseases of the liver, we want to know some uh, points about the physiology of the uh, liver function during pregnancy. Uh, there are certain uh, things we uh, want to put in our minds, uh, starting with that uh, although the uh, blood flow increased by, by about 50% uh, in pregnancy, it uh, remained constant for the liver circulation and uh, the uh, uh, some of the uh, uh, liver function uh, test components will remain unchanged during pregnancy like bilirubin, uh, ALT and AST uh, uh, while the, uh, the prothrombin time is also remain unchanged while the alkaline phosphatase will increase by about 2 to 4 fold uh, fibrinogen will increase by about 50% uh, globulin alpha and beta uh, will be increased while uh, decreasing gamma globulin alpha phytoprotein also there is a mild increase especially with the twin pregnancy uh, also, uh, there is uh, some uh, changes, skin changes uh, that uh, simulate uh, the uh, uh, chronic uh, disease stigmata uh, we uh, may see in uh, pregnant women. Uh, the uh, the chronic diseases stigmata which are physiologically normal in a pregnant woman and when we see it we we, we should not say that this pregnant have uh, a chronic disease unless we go further to do uh, for her um, a certain investigation these are the telangiectasia uh, uh, the presence of apparent blood capillaries within the skin uh, spider and joma uh, which was a previous seen in as a spider new eye, uh, the uh, this uh, spider uh, angioma consists of a central feeding arterial uh, surrounded by uh, a lot of uh, arterioles or capillaries uh, that uh, will disappear once we press on the central arterial. The uh, the, uh, the the picture on the uh, right uh, upper uh, side. اللي هي الصورة اللي يمنا على اليا هذه uh, تمثل spider angioma أو قلنا نسميها كنا نسميها سابقا ب spider nevus. The other uh, the other uh, sign which is normal in pregnant women and uh, uh, as we said it simulated the chronic liver disease is the palmar erythema which uh, occur due to the peripheral vasodilatation that occur in pregnant women. مثل ما تشوفون الصورة اللي هي على الجهة اليسرى السفلى من ال من السلايد. Uh, and now uh, we, we, there are uh, certain uh, diseases that uh, occur particularly in the pregnant women that uh, to say it does not appear in non-pregnant state uh, while others uh, other liver diseases may occur accidentally in a pregnant women for uh, the first one is the intrahepatic cholestasis of pregnancy or uh, called also by obstetric cholestasis previously was called obstetric cholestasis now it is called the intrahepatic cholestasis of a pregnancy icp uh, it occurs uh, due to impairment of bile flow which may clinically present with fatigue, pruritus, and in its most overt form as jaundice. Yani, uh, no, the, most of these patients, اكثر علامة او اكثر symptom اللي تخلينا نشوك انو هاي patient ادها cholestatic jaundice هي اللي يعني اللي هي obstetric cholestasis هو وجود البروريتس. طبعا it is the commonest liver specific disorder order in a pregnant woman and uh, the importance of this condition is in its association with sudden intrauterine uh, fetal death mostly at term فلذلك احنا المريضة اللي تجي ونشخصها كأبستريك كولستيسيس كلش لازم ندير بالنا من الفيتال ويل بيينج اخاف انه uh, all of a sudden she will go uh, to have um, an, an intrauterine fetal death 
Uh, why it occur? What is the pathogenesis of this condition? Uh, it is uh, mostly a genetic uh, a problem. There is a genetic uh, component with a 17-fold increase in developing the disease and paras first-degree relative. يعني يعني إذا إذا عدها يعني هي نري إذا عدها أخوات يعني حوامل فممكن إنه خصوصاً دول الباراس women they are more likely to develop the condition about 17-fold than the general society mutation have been identified in biliary transporters which transport the bile acids and phosphate deal choline from the hepatocyte into the bile فالمفروض انه اني عندي دول الترانسبورترز اللي هم مسؤولين عن نقل البايل اسس فروم ذا هيباتوسايت تو ذا كانيكولاي اوف ذا بيليري كانيكولاي هنا انا اكو في الديفكت بحيث انه راح يصير عندي ستيسز اوف ذا بايل ويزن ذا هيباتوسايت ريزد ريبرودكشن سوري ريزد ريبرودكتيف هرمونز ان بريجنسي امباكت ذا نورمال باث واي اوف بايل اسس هوميوستيسز ريزالتينج ان ذا ديفلوبمنت اوف كوليستيسز اند ذس از لايكلي تو بي مور سيفير ان جينيتيكلي بريدسبوز وومن فإذا بالإضافة إلى أنه إحنا قلنا الجينيتيك بروديسبوزيشن يعرض هذه الفيميل أنه تصير يصير عندها كوليستيسيز أيضا ذا ريبرودكتيف هرمونز اللي هم الإستروجين أند البروجسترون ويل إفكت ذي بايل هوميوستيسيز ويل كوز كوليستيسيز طبعا بيكوز أوف ذا إفكت أوف ذا سوبر سوفت ساتوريشن أوف بايل فيصير ثيك أند هارد تو بي ترانسبورتد هاي الصورة تمثل الهيباتوسايت وبصفها الكانيليكولاي البايل كانيليكولاي فمثل ما تشوفون بعد ما انه صارت البرودكشن اوف الهيباتوسايت طبعا مسؤولة عن الاكسكريشن اوف ذا توكسينز اوف بايل اند اوف فوسفاتيديل كولين اند ذيس ويل بي انفلتريتد فروم ذا بلود تو بي اكسكريتد ثرو ذا بايل كانيليكولاي انتو ذا جاسترانتستانال تراكت سو وي وي هاف ا ديفكت ان The transporters of the bile acids there will be accumulation of bile within the hepatocyte, and this is called the hepatic or uh, cholestatic jaundice of a pregnancy. Uh, the presentation of these patients, most of them present in the third trimester. شو كنت تقريبا after 32 week أكثرهم تجي عندهم الأعراض ألضو أنه ممكن حتى يكونون earlier وحتى جد كيسات أنه reported at تقريبا 8 week of gestation they start to have itching and all of the of their clinical picture goes with cholestatic jaundice Itching can vary from mild to intense and persistent, affecting the whole body, particularly the palms and soles. يعني أق يعني أغلب ال الحوامل يجون يقولون إنه ال ال the the palms and the soles are the most problematic size for itching, and it causes even excoriation and sleep deprivation. فحتى يقولون إنه ما مدا يقدرون ينامون من وراء الحكة. Sometimes dark urine, pale stool, and seizure and malaise occur. Will be also features of cholestasis. طبعا there is no rash and no it is not a skin disease. It is a disease caused by the accumulation of bile salts within the skin. So it will cause this itching, and the itching will cause the excoriation, but it is not a rash. Hepatic transaminases, when we do for them uh, liver function tests, we will have them the, uh, only uh, mildly elevated. Uh, the bile acids also will be elevated and uh, there may be uh, abnormal coagulation with a prolonged PT in severe cases. And this is why, because of the defective uh, absorption of vitamin K, the coagulation factors which are dependent on vitamin K will be defective and this lead to a prolonged PT and therefore these patients are more predisposed for postpartum differential diagnosis بمعنى هي راح تجي قلنا بإتشينج بماليز بالبيكتشر أوف يعني أوبستركتيف جوندس إذا نو هاف تو ثينك أباوت أذر كوزز أوف هيباتيك بروبلمز أور ديزيزز لايك إكسا هيباتيك أوبستركشن وذ جولستون هاي أول وحدة راح نفكر بيها أكيوت أند كرونيك فايرال هيباتايتس برايمري بيليري سيروسيز كرونيك أكتيف هيباتايتس 
preeclampsia health syndrome ده يعني شفنا انه there is jaundice with elevated liver enzyme we have to think about them acute fatty liver or pregnancy also can present with such uh, symptoms uh, sepsis and drug induced hepatitis طبعا drug induced ممكن uh, by uh, acetaminophen the overdose of paracetamol the patient take or uh, even by um, erythromycin uh, acetylate uh, one of the compounds that can cause a drug induced hepatitis investigations uh, we have to do for this patient in order to exclude other causes and to uh, confirm our diagnosis is the liver function test and should be repeated if we find that the initial test is normal then we should repeat it uh, every one to two weeks uh, serum bile acids which is uh, as we said uh, can be found to be normal uh, or elevated most of the time uh, full blood count also should be done uh, in order to know whether this patient has a problem in their platelet in order to rule or, uh, out uh, help syndrome a clotting profile we said that the PT will be affected so we have to go for the PT, PTT and NRR and uh, also the renal function test should be uh, done to exclude hemolytic uremic syndrome uh, serology for hepatitis A, B, C, Epstein virus and cytomegalovirus all those uh, these uh, viruses can cause hepatitis uh, liver autoimmune uh, uh, autoantibodies like anti-mitochondrial antibody and anti-smooth uh, muscle antibody these uh, are positive in cases of primary biliary cirrhosis and liver ultrasound and uh, to uh, exclude uh, presence of uh, liver uh, hepatomegaly or uh, the presence uh, of uh, gallstone uh, also ultrasound for the fetal growth and amniotic fluid because we said that uh, some of these uh, cases can be uh, affecting uh, the uh, fetal well-being complications of this uh, condition include postpartum hemorrhage uh, pre uh, premature labor uh, meconium stained liquor fetal distress in labor and intrauterine fetal death and we, as we said this is the most important complication and we should uh, try to avoid as much as possible now the management and uh, how to manage these cases smoking in the pruritus to be in uh, early gestations 32 week or even earlier if a patient she will seek any treatment in order to get rid of this pruritus it will be very troublesome for her uh, uh, and uh, and uh, in order to control this pruritus we can give a combination of anti antihistamine and emollients um, uh, a lot of them they will not respond to this uh, simple treatment so we go further for also the oxycholic acid uh, this drug will improve the maternal pruritus why it uh, causes chelation uh, with the bile and uh, thus improve the excretion of bile from the uh, uh, from uh, the biliary uh, tree uh, so it will enhance uh, the uh, decrement uh, in the uh, accumulation of bile in the uh, in the skin and improve the biochemical derangement. Uh, vitamin K it should be given, but it should be given in its uh, water soluble form uh, because uh, we know that uh, now we have a problem in bile uh, metabolism and therefore uh, this will affect the lipid uh, absorption. You know, lipid absorption at mid ala al bile. If if you have a new anatid, vitamin K is the lipid soluble. أيضا ما راح استفاد من عنده فحتى أخلص من هاي المشكلة أنطي water soluble form it should be given to the mother from the time of diagnosis to reduce the risk of postpartum hemorrhage a liver function test and clotting factor should be monitored regularly ممكن هذولا يبدون يصير عندهم في الدماغ تدريجمنت in their liver trans anamnesis ال PT قلنا ممكن انه prolonged ويبقى يستمر انه يصعد فحتى نضل نشيك ونتابع ونعرف شو فت احنا we have to intervene we have to monitor these patients by liver function test and clotting time the uh, fetal surveillance with CTG and ultrasound are not reliable for preventing the fetal death in our cystic cholestasis, but uh, we have uh, to uh, follow the uh, patient uh, by uh, her uh, uh, asking her about uh, the uh, fetal movements, and uh, we uh, may uh, uh, go further uh, to uh, induce her labor if we think that uh, there is a problem with the fetal well-being during the labor. We have to do for her continuous 
سي تي جي بيكوز انتراپارتام فيتال ديث كان اوكير ات اني تايم ديليفري شود بي انجوس ات 37 تو 38 ويك ذير از نو بينيفيت فروم ويتينغ فيردر اونلي ذا ريسك اوف ديث ويل انكريس سو وي هاف تو انجوس ديليفري ات ساتش جيستيشن Following delivery, the liver function returned to normal, and uh, in about uh, ten days, so so we should repeat the uh, the liver function by this time in order to know whether uh, everything have to return to normal. Uh, symptoms may uh, recur with the estrogen containing oral contraceptive pills. Uh, then, in Marida, we have to tell her that she should avoid combined oral contraceptive because she is risky for recurrence of symptoms once she take the uh, estrogen. Also, there is a uh, high risk of recurrence and subsequent pregnancy. Now, uh, the other uh, disease that is peculiar to pregnancy is the acute fatty liver of pregnancy. Uh, in fact, it is a rare condition, but it is potentially life-threatening condition, so we have to know some points about it. Closely, it is related to preeclampsia and health syndrome. Uh, the 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 sharing uh, defect in, in these three uh, diseases, I mean the preeclampsia, the health syndrome, and the acute fatty liver of pregnancy, is the genetic defect in fatty acid uh, oxidation. Uh, usually, the acute fatty liver presents in the third trimester with abdominal pain, nausea, vomiting, anorexia, and jaundice. The etiology is unknown. But histologically, uh, peritubular fatty infiltration of the liver is, uh, cells is not. Uh, this picture, uh, uh, as you see, uh, the normal liver on the left side, uh, the chufon in the pathology matic, when uh, normal hepatocytes, when uh, fatty liver, the uh, liver cells are filled with uh, fatty material because there is poor uh, metabolism and accumulation of uh, fatty acids within the uh, liver so it increase in size as you see uh, in the uh, picture this is another picture for the fat uh, laden hepatocyte it uh, is filled uh, and uh, this lead to destruction of the hepatocytes and therefore uh, impaired uh, function and may lead to encephalopathy and uh, liver uh, failure Following the onset, there is a rapid uh, worsening cascade of problems. فلذلك كلش مهم إنه إحنا we we know the diagnosis and confirm it and uh, work in a very rapid manner in order to save the life of the patient. Markedly, deranged liver enzyme, renal impairment, uh, raised uric acid, raised white blood cell leukocytosis. I mean, uh, hypoglycemia also occur and coagulopathy. فالبيشنت اللي عندها يعني اشك انه عندها ليفر اكيوت فاتي ليفر او بريجنسي لازم اسوي لها ليفر فانكشن تيست اسوي لها بلاد يوريا ان سيرم كرياتينين وراح القى عندها امبيرمنت ان ليفر ان هير رينال فانكشن اسوي لها سيرم يوريك اسيد راح القى عالي الوات بي سي القاها عاليه القى عندها هيبوكلايسيميا كلش سيجنيفيكانت يعني اند ماركت ديورينج ذيس ديزيز اند ذير از اولسو اكوغلوباثي uh, so the perinatal uh, and uh, maternal mortality and morbidity are increased and the maternal death resulted from hepatic encephalopathy or overwhelming hemorrhage. Uh, uh, because you know, you know, there is uh, some uh, sharing of the symptoms and uh, and the signs uh, and uh, and the lab investigation with the preeclampsia and with health syndrome, there are uh, certain uh, criteria which uh, are uh, documented and said to be required uh, for the diagnosis of uh, this uh, disease. Uh, it is called Swansea criteria. A presence of six of these criteria will uh, predict the uh, uh, presence of acute fatty liver of pregnancy. These criteria include presence of vomiting, abdominal pain, polydipsia and polyuria, encephalopathy, elevated bilirubin more than 14 micromol per liter, hypoglycemia less than 4 millimol per liter, elevated urea more than 340 micromol per liter, leukocytosis more than 1000 uh, per uh, liter, more than 11,000 per liter, uh, ascites or bright liver on ultrasound scan, elevated transaminases, the, the uh, uh, lean transferase and aspartate transaminase, 
uh, more than 42 international units per liter, elevated ammonia more than 47 micromole per liter, uh, renal impairment creatinine more than 150 micromole per liter, uh, coagulopathy, the prothrombin time is elevated more than 14 seconds or deactivated partial thromboplastin time more than 34 seconds. And lastly, microvesicular steatosis on the liver biopsy. Uh, during pregnancy because of the pregnant uh, condition of Gilano and Assassin Mertajin, she is diagnosed Seri Hattensu termination Seri in order to save the life of the patient. This Yani Fihal and who the patient is still uh, in Yani, uh, she uh, she uh, continue in her uh, liver problem and uh, there is failure of uh, her liver function. We may go further to do for her liver biopsy after delivery. The management of such cases relies on early diagnosis. Again, once the disease starts, it will go aggressively and will end may end with uh, maternal death if we don't uh, intervene and uh, deliver as fast as possible. So, uh, intensive care units and multidisciplinary team with a close monitoring will be required. Uh, delivery should be expedited, uh, but this will uh, be uh, by cesarean most of uh, the cases were uh, under general anesthesia because they have uh, uh, high, usually they have a low platelet count better than uh, you know, in order to have epidural or risk hematoma. Uh, under uh, anesthesia general anesthesia and uh, following also correction of hypoglycemia and coagulopathy from 50% uh, dexose and high uh, level of glucose uh, vitamin K will be needed because uh, as we said uh, she has a risk of uh, hemorrhage and um, coagulopathy, a fresh frozen plasma and the platelet might be needed accordingly. If multi-system uh, failure uh, develops, it may be necessary to do uh, to use dialysis and support with mechanical ventilation. Yeah, we can have a respiratory failure and we need to the patient on a mechanical ventilator. Uh, one of the uh, updates in the treatment of the acute fatty liver is uh, the use of N-acetylcysteine, which is an antioxidant and glutathione precursor. It promotes selective and activation of free radicals and uh, therefore it is used in liver units to treat the acute fatty liver of pregnancy. Uh, after delivery, uh, the management is conservative and the patient should be re referred to liver unit uh, if the liver function is still abnormal or there are features or hepat of hepatic encephalopathy. طبعاً uh, هذا السلايد يوضح ال differential diagnosis between health and acute fatty liver. الحقيقة uh, a lot of times uh, there, there is uh, uh, some uh, mis uh, diagnosis and uh, uh, cases of acute fatty liver diagnosis as health or vice versa. فمثل ما تشوفون هنا بعض ال criteria إنه which of them will be more in the health and which of them will, will be more on uh, in the acute fatty liver of uh, pregnancy. Uh, the uh, epigastric is more pain will be more uh, in health syndrome uh, vomiting will be more in uh, uh, acute fatty liver or pregnancy hypertension is more in health syndrome or proteinuria more in health syndrome the elevated liver enzyme is more in, uh, in um, acute fatty liver or pregnancy hypoglycemia and uh, 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 hyperuricemia are more in uh, the uh, acute fatty liver of uh, pregnancy, DIC is more with acute fatty liver of pregnancy, uh, thrombocytopenia uh, with, without uh, a blood cell uh, count um, uh, um, uh, is more uh, uh, in the uh, HELP syndrome, but uh, the uh, elevation in the white blood cell count uh, is more with the acute fatty liver of pregnancy. Uh, the uh, the uh, ultrasound uh, and uh, the ultrasound uh, reveal uh, the uh, and help uh, syndrome uh, hepatic hematoma uh, while in the acute fatty liver we may see hepatomegaly uh, the, in uh, multiple pregnancy is more seen in the act uh, acute fatty liver of pregnancy uh, while uh, the primary uh, paras women uh, seen more in health syndrome uh, male fetus uh, is uh, affect more uh, cases of acute fatty liver of pregnancy.
pregnancy, uh, while uh, it is 50% in cases of health syndrome. Uh, now about uh, the uh, viral hepatitis uh, and the pregnancy. Uh, viral hepatitis is a disease which occurs accidentally with the pregnancy, uh, not like the acute fatty liver or the uh, intra uh, hepatic cholestasis of pregnancy. Uh, it can occur inside or outside the pregnancy, and most cases of jaundice in a pregnancy are due to viral hepatitis. None of the hepatitis viruses are known to be teratogenic, and the course of most of the viral hepatitis. Uh, is uh, unaltered by a pregnancy except for the hepatitis E which may exhibit a uh, fulminating uh, course and uh, associated with increased fatality rate. Uh, this uh, picture represents the use of hepatitis B and density and uh, worldwide. Uh, uh, as you see, uh, Iraq uh, is uh, in the intermediate. Uh, uh, phase of the disease uh, that uh, about uh, two to seven uh, percent uh, and uh, the uh, this is um, maybe um, uh, maybe uh, more cases are uh, non uh, diagnosed or under uh, screened uh, however a lot of uh, cases of uh, carrier are diagnosed nowadays uh, while they uh, do uh, elective uh, uh, operations uh, uh, whether they are pregnant or non pregnant uh, the treatment uh, of viral hepatitis uh, may benefit from pharmacological therapy for chronic hepatitis B uh, virus and the chronic hepatitis C virus infection. Uh, interferon does not have an adverse effect uh, on the embryo or the fetus while the use of ribavirin during pregnancy is contraindicated. Uh, regarding the post-exposure prophylaxis, uh, in fact, uh, we uh, don't uh, give uh, hepatitis B uh, virus uh, vaccine routinely for pregnant women, but we can uh, give it uh, to uh, pregnant women which are uh, exposed to uh, uh, risk of uh, hepatitis, uh, like uh, a woman with her husband has hepatitis B, or a woman which is uh, a health worker, uh, or uh, uh, have, uh, have an uh, endemic environment. Uh, these uh, are susceptible women, uh, so we can uh, give them hepatitis B uh, virus immunoglobulin, hepatitis uh, A uh, vaccine and hepatitis B vaccine are approved uh, for use during a pregnancy. The vertical transmission of uh, hepatitis A uh, is uh, not uh, transmitted vertically uh, um, while the fetus in utero, but uh, may be transmitted uh, during delivery or uh, during the postpartum uh, period as it, uh, its transmission is by uh, fecal or a root. Uh, for hepatitis B, it depends whether it is acute or chronic. In acute uh, hepatitis B infection, the transmission to the child is about 50%, while uh, it increases to 70% if uh, the, uh, the infection occurs in the third trimester. For chronic hepatitis B, the risk of hepatitis B vertical transmission is 10% in mothers with negative hepatitis B E antigen. Hakikal hepatitis B E antigen will uh, indicate the replication of the virus. When, when, once the virus is active, uh, then uh, the, this means that the vertical transmission will be very high, while when it is uh, not uh, in, in its dormant form or it is not active, which means that uh, the hepatitis B E antigen will be negative, uh, then the uh, transmission will be low, which is about 10%. While when it is positive, the uh, transmission will be about 90%. And following the vertical transmission, up to 80% of children will become chronic carriers. Therefore, universal screening of pregnant women for hepatitis B surface antigen should be performed to reduce the prenatal infection uh, of hepatitis B virus and also to protect the healthcare workers with, which are dealing with this pregnant women. Reduction of vertical transmission, this is, uh, can be in uh, two ways, either by the use of antiviral therapy, uh, such as tenofovir, uh, which decreases the hepatitis B virus DNA level in the third trimester, and therefore it will decrease the uh, transmission of the virus from the mother to the fetus. And the second one is by neonatal prophylaxis, so the infant will be uh, given hepatitis B immunoglobulin and uh, at birth and uh, hepatitis B vaccine at one week, uh, one month and six months after birth. This regimen 
we will reduce the incidence of hepatitis B virus vertical transmission to 0 to 3%. Now, uh, regarding delivery and uh, postpartum period uh, during delivery, the uh, cesarean section is not recommended to reduce the vertical transmission and the intrapartum fetal scalp electrode and fetal blood sampling should be avoided because uh, there will be uh, an increased risk of uh, transmission of the virus to the fetus. And if instrumental delivery is needed, forceps rather than ventus is uh, appropriate because uh, ventus may, might lead to uh, skin uh, abrasions and uh, the virus can uh, be introduced to the fetus through these abrasions. With appropriate hepatitis B immunoprophylaxis, breastfeeding poses no additional risk for the maternal to uh, child transmission. So the woman can breastfeed her baby. Now, uh, the uh, last uh, uh, disease of the liver that can be faced during pregnancy is the gallstone. The prevalence in a pregnancy is around 19% in multiparous, while it is 8% in nulliparous. But the acute hip of cholecystitis is much less common, occurring in 0.1% of pregnant women. Etiology is uh, due to the increased uh, estrogen, lead to increased cholesterol secretion and supersaturation of bile. So this will lead to a uh, thick bile which is uh, uh, making a sludge and uh, therefore uh, it will enhance the formation of cholithiasis. And increased progesterone causes a decrease in a small intestinal motility and uh, therefore uh, this will uh, lead to a decrease in the excretion of uh, bile so it will accumulate in the gallbladder and form lead to formation of stone. Management is conservative, especially uh, during the first and third trimester in which surgical intervention may, may uh, confer a risk of miscarriage or premature labor respectively. فإذن إحنا إذا صارت المي بعدها كل سستاتس وضطرنا إنه إحنا نسوي لها سيرجري we have to avoid the first trimester and the third trimester. The first trimester ممكن يصير المسكرج and the third trimester will lead to preterm labor. طبعا أنا إذا أريد أسوي لها medical treatment it consists of intravenous fluid correction of electrolytes and دولا يجون عندهم احتمال قوي vomiting و the vomiting ممكن يسوي لها dehydration and electrolytes imbalance so I have to replace the fluid I have to correct the electrolytes bowel rest إنه أنا ما أخليها take يعني normal diet it should be fluidy diet out of fatty materials or fatty food and uh, pain management uh, with uh, uh, estaminophen and uh, broad spectrum antibiotics in order to reduce the inflammation of the uh, gallbladder. Uh, uh, relapse rate are high during the pregnancy. ممكن إنه إذا صارت هون أتوقع كل 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 ستاتس ممكن إنه كل شهر ترجع تصير مرة ثانية وبالتالي it may necessitate a surgical intervention and this is preferentially performed in the uh, second trimester. طبعا ممكن إنه إحنا open or lab ويعتمد طبعا على ال professional uh, يعني surgeon available uh, because uh, you know that uh, the uh, uh, laparoscopy with a large uterus and might lead to perforation. Now the last slide about the different diseases that affect the liver and the differential diagnosis of abnormal liver function test which include the hyperemesis gravidarum it lead to liver derangement, acute viral hepatitis, pre-existing liver disorder, cholithiasis, cholestasis of pregnancy, liver involvement in preeclampsia, herpes syndrome, acute fatty liver of pregnancy, liver hematoma and but GRA syndrome which lead to liver viruses and increased portal hypertension and the different investigations that are needed in order to reach the diagnosis of these different diseases. And thank you for listening.